Murray. Ms. Murray. Ms. Murray. This is our morning devotion. Well, I would like my son excused from the morning devotion. You don't want him to? Mm -mm. I've never heard of anything like this in my life. Well, Mrs. Uh, Lutz, is it? My son, like myself, is an atheist. Isn't that right, Bill? Uh-huh. I cannot excuse your son from the morning devotion. It is required by the board, and it is the law. The law? Have you heard about the Constitution by any chance, kids? I hope she's not teaching you history, because apparently she flunked that class. In the Constitution, there is something called the First Amendment, and that protects the freedom of speech and religion. Are there any Jews in the class? Do your parents know that you are being forced to recite this archaic riddle? Miss Murray! I'm just trying to make a point. Obviously. The school board cannot force my son to pray, or anyone else for that matter. So, sue them. Brinkley's journal, usually presented at this time, will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the following special program. Washington, D.C., June 17, 1963. An 8-1 decision of the U.S. Supreme Court declared prayer in school unconstitutional. The judgment, the results of a case against the Baltimore public school system, stirred protests across the nation. This decision is offensive to everyone who wishes to keep this a religious nation. As demonstrators ascended on the Capitol, President Kennedy did his best to defuse the controversy. I think that uh, it is uh, important for us that we uh, support uh, Supreme Court decisions even when we may not agree with them. In addition, we have in this case a very easy remedy, and that is to pray ourselves. The plaintiffs in the case, self-described atheist Madeline Murray and her teenage son Bill, were unapologetic. I don't understand why people are so upset. This is about religious freedom. You can still keep the faith. People just keep it to yourselves. Oh, this is a good one. The next thing you know, Madeline Murray will force the country to eliminate one nation under God from the Pledge of Allegiance. It's actually not a bad idea. 